now to that important medical news about early detection. Amy is taking a closer look as the third anniversary of her own breast cancer diagnosis approaches on Sunday. I cannot believe it's been three I know, years. it really is mm -hmm. incredible how time flies. Sunday, actually, is my three-year anniversary of the day I was diagnosed with breast cancer, all because this mm -hmm. woman right here, Robin, urged me to get mm -hmm. my first mammogram at age 40. But women younger than me are hearing those same words, and for so many, early detection can be life-saving. I feel free when I'm dancing. I feel like it's my safe place. For Olivia Hutcherson, there's nothing quite like taking center stage. Everyone talks about Beyonce and her Sasha Fierce. When I get on stage, it's like other Olivia comes out. Other Olivia. Other Olivia. I need to come up with a cooler name than that, though. <laughs> but on the night of her 26th birthday, at the height of her career as a professional dancer, Olivia's life took an unprecedented turn. I remember looking down at the end of the night, seeing blood on the inside of my blouse. The following day, I went into the doctor's office. They told me that it was nothing to worry about, but I felt like something was wrong. I went back to the doctor just three days later, and I requested a mammogram. And you requested a mammogram? I requested a mammogram. They didn't want to give it initially because I was 26, I had never smoked, I had no family history, but I wasn't leaving until I got it. And you were the picture of health, a professional dancer. Yeah, cancer does not discriminate. While her doctors were not able to explain the bleeding, after three mammograms, Olivia was diagnosed with DCIS, the earliest stage of breast cancer. While in surgery, her doctors who had recommended a double mastectomy found a stage one tumor on the right side, which meant she needed chemotherapy. Though only 5% of breast cancer cases happen under 40, that's 12,000 women a year. 12,000 women with their lives before them, dating, marrying, having babies, fighting battles much different than older women, something Jennifer Finkelstein knows all too well. I had just turned 32. It was five weeks before my wedding, um, which was shocking. I underwent a single mastectomy and began chemotherapy a week later instead of a honeymoon. It was the most isolating experience of my life. So Jennifer launched Five Under 40, an organization that provides medical, emotional, and beauty services to women under 40 who are fighting this disease. They help me with the wig, they help me with the head shaving. There's always somebody on the other end of the line yes, to sure. just kind of get you through the moment. You've just lost both of your breasts. Mm -hmm. You had to freeze your eggs. I mean, just talk a little bit about what it's like dating after breast cancer. I was on first dates. Who tries to date, by the way, when, they, when they're going through this? 26-year-olds. 26 26-year-olds, 26 of course. And I'm like out on a date with my wig, I'll never forget. And this guy was like, babe, you have the most beautiful hair. And I'm like, huh, that's awkward. <laughs> Now, almost a year and a half since her diagnosis, Olivia has ditched her wig and returned to the dance studio with a new motto, live strong. Who do you see now when you're dancing and looking in those mirrors? I see this strong soul. A warrior princess is who I see. You know, she said her. she kept waiting to go back to who mm -hmm. she was and then she realized she didn't want to. Mm, a warrior princess. And I know it was very important to do this story. Our senior medical contributor, Dr. Jen Ashton, joins us now. And Jen, just tell us how this affects younger women, breast cancer. Well, Robin, you know, we know that breast cancer does affect younger women. It's less common than in older women, but it can then tend to be more aggressive and can be diagnosed at more advanced stages. So that really underscores the importance we heard in this piece of knowing mm. your body. If you notice something yep. like a lump, any skin changes, discharge from the nipple or rarely pain, see your doctor and be persistent. No one knows your body like you do. That's, That's right, true. be persistent. And with all of these confusing headlines now, uh, Jen saying you should wait till you're 45 or 50, that wouldn't have worked for me or for Robin. Mm -hmm. And I know my daughters are gonna start getting tested in their 20s. What is out there? What are the options for younger women? Well, you have to distinguish between what we do to screen the general population and what we do in terms of imaging for a diagnosis. But in our arsenal of screening and testing, we have sonogram, we have, of course, mammogram, there are MRIs, and there's a newer technique called 
contrast enhanced spectral mammography, which is showing promising results for being more accurate. They're not all for everybody, so talking to your doctor will tell you which is appropriate mm. for you. Be your own advocate. Dr. Yeah. Jen, thank you as you always. Best. And thank you, Amy. You have been tireless. Thank you, as much. Robin. You have been tireless <laughs> as much going around the country and talking about this.